Hello everyone, welcome to Infigan. In this very very exciting video of exponential equations, today we are going to solve one common equation for Math Olympiad prep, which is x -th root of 50 plus x -th root of 30 equal to x -th root of 80. While solving, I will use exponent exponent properties, log log properties, quadratic equation, quadratic formula, and we'll conclude our result. So let's get it started. See, I can see this problem can be solved in three ways. First way, anyone can divide this complete equation by except root of 50. Some other chap can divide by except root of 30. And third approach can be except root of 18 if I am dividing. My observation is first two method you will find same identical equation same conclusions. So let me show you here I am dividing divide by xth root of 50. Let's do it and second approach I will show you see divide by xth root of 30. Okay, let's get started. Once I will divide, then I will write here 1. Second step, second term I can write 30 over 50 whole power 1 over x equal to 18 over 50 whole power 1 over x. Come to divide by 30 power 1 over x. Okay. Let's do that also. So I will write 50 over 30 whole power 1 over x plus 1 equal to 18 over 30 whole power 1 over x. Okay. It is by the property of a power x divided by b power x can be written as a over b whole power x. This is exponential property we have used. Okay. Now I can cancel this 0 and 0. And this is 9 over 25, which is 3 over 5 whole square. So in next step, I can write it is 3 over 5 whole power 1 over x equal to, I am writing directly, 3 over 5 whole square and power is 1 over x. Okay. Now I will swap these exponents by the property a power b whole power c can be written as a power c whole power b. Okay. So in next step, third step, I will write 3 over 5 whole power 1 over x equal to 3 over 5 whole power 1 over x whole square. Now you can substitute. Simply give substitution. 3 over 5 whole power x. This is what we will consider y. Now see the equation. 1 plus y equal to y square. Or y square minus y minus 1 equal to 0. Now come to the second approach. Okay, I will do the same thing. I will cancel 5, 0 and 0. And here I will write 9 over, not, I will cancel with 6, 3 over 5. Now you can see, it is 5 over 3. So let me write 5 over 3 whole power 1 over x plus 1 equal to 3 over 5 whole power 1 over x. Now you can see it is reciprocal. Now I am going to give substitution. What I will write? I will write 3 over 5 as the first case equal to suppose y. So this term would be 1 over y reciprocal. So I will write this equation as 1 over y plus 1 equal to y multiply this equation by y. So 1 plus y 
equal to y square or y square minus y minus 1 equal to 0. See this equation and see this equation. See this substitution and see this substitution. Everything is same. If you are dividing by 50 raised to the power 1 over x or 30 raised to the power 1 over x. Now one job is to solve this equation y square minus y minus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. I will write y equal to minus b. So it will be plus 1 plus minus b square 1 minus 4 ac. So plus 4. Golden ratio is about to come. I will write 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. Now because of 3 over 5 whole power 1 over x this term it cannot be negative cannot be 0 it is always positive. So I will reject this minus sign okay. So what I will accept that is 1 plus root 5 over 2 accepted and 1 minus root 5 over 2 would be rejected. Why? Because of this is negative number and y is what? 3 over 5 whole power and it cannot be negative. Simple argument. Okay. So this way also same steps. So let me solve this equation. 3 over 5 whole power 1 over x equal to golden ratio. one over x equal to one plus root five over two. Take ln or log both sides. Let me take log both sides. I will write one over x log three over five equal to log one plus root five over two. Okay. Now we have to only put the values. So if I will put the value directly, so log 3 over 5 I will get 0 means I can write 0.6. So that value would be negative because it is in decimal minus 0 0.2218 and right hand side I will get 0 0.2089. So if you will calculate x, x will come out minus 1.0619. Okay. This is how we can find out x. One more, the third approach I will show you. If I will see, let me write here third approach. I am dividing by root xth power of 18. So let me divide. I will write 50 over 18 whole power 1 over x plus 30 over 18 whole power 1 over x is equal to 1. Okay. In next step, I will write, I can cancel this one. So, I will write 25 over 9 whole power 1 over x plus, see I can write 6 5 are 30, 6 3 are 18, 5 over 3 whole power 1 over x equal to 1. Now, it is obvious. I will give substitution 5 over 3 whole power 1 over x equal to suppose y. So this equation will become y square it is 5 over 3 whole square plus y equal to 1 or y square plus y minus 1 equal to 0. Okay remember our substitution it is 5 over 3 whole power 1 over x. So let us solve this equation y square plus y minus 1 equal to 0. So y will be equal to minus b plus minus under the root 1 plus 4 over 2. So it is minus 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. Now what was our y in this case? It was 5 over 3 whole power 1 over x. 
Now you can see it is non-negative value exponential function. It is always positive. So I will reject this minus sign. This minus sign I will reject. So y would be equal to. So I will write y would be equal to 5 over 3 whole power 1 over x equal to minus 1 plus the square root 5 over 2. Minus is rejected by the same logic. Now I will take ln both sides or log both sides. So if I will take log both sides, I will get 1 over x log 5 over 3. That will be equal to log minus 1 plus the square root 5 over 2. Okay. So x value if you will check from here, it will come out log 5 over 3, log 5 over 3 value. Simply if you will put the value, you will get I am writing directly 1.0617. You can check. Same value you will be getting. Now only one thing is pending. Verification. So what we calculated x, let me write here. Verification. Okay, what we calculated x, x was minus 1.0619. Now I am going to verify this. How it will be? I will write 50 raised to the power, 50 raised to the power minus 1 over x. So minus 1 over 1.0. So that value is 0 0.9417. What I am doing? The power is 1 over x. So you are going to write minus 1.0619. So this value is coming out minus 0 0.9417. So I am putting the same plus 30 raised to the power minus 0 0.9417. It should match with 18 power minus 0 0.9417. Okay, I have calculated actually. Let me write the value 0 0.02512, the first value, 50 raised to the power. Second value is 0 0.04064 and right hand side value is 0 0.06575. Once I will add these two numbers, I am getting 0 0.06576. It is almost equal to our RHS. So you can see whatever we have calculated, what we calculated x is equal to minus 1.0619. That value is absolutely correct. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.